name is Bryce, uh, Professor Locke Johnson, also known as Popcorn. Um, Hip hop dancer by profession, um, but also just also just a straight up dancer. Uh, period. Um, I am currently CEO and director of uh, Dance Touch and Dance Touch Collective. Um, I'm a current member of the the one and only Hood Lockers of Philadelphia, and former member of Face to Play, Faceless, uh, and Faceless Inc. So that's me. <laughs> All right. Tell us about um, some of your your, your trials and tribulations, you know, going through, you know, those groups and coming up as a young man and, you know, how you got into dance and, you know, things like that. Um, well, I got into dance, uh, I would have to say, graduating high school um, because I would start off as a soccer player. Um, that's what my first love is, and actually that's what I was, that's the profession I was planning on going into. Broke my leg senior year, lost my scholarship, um, and just, but always told myself that, you know, I'm going to, I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, a group of friends of mine, uh, Joshua, Annie Lock Polk, uh, Kenneth Thomas, and Brandon Jolly, whose name is Phoenix now, is the, um, uh, the stage name is Phoenix. I got them together and said, hey, look, knock on all their doors and said, look, I want to start a dance group with you guys because y'all can dance. I'll be the manager. <laughs> My dad's group, my dad had an African drum ensemble and they traveled in the schools and you know, did performance and assembly. So I said, we can start off by piggybacking off of that till we get a name. And, af and then after that, we just go on for ourselves. Uh, they were down and we made it happen. We started off doing rehearsals in Kenny's living room, my patio, um, until we were able to get a studio. Um, later on, we met, a, met Mark, Marcus Tucker, Smart Mark. Smart Remark, I mean, Marcus Tucker and Andrew Ryan Ramsey. Um, they were from Philadelphia, And immediately we connected. As far as dance goes, it was like love at first sight with all of us. And we connected and formed the group, uh, and fast forward, formed the group Face to Flav, uh, which is a group, a compilation of the greatest dancers I've ever danced with from set between South Jersey and Philadelphia. And we lasted for a while. We, we, we lived in the same house. Um, and our hearts were still together. Um, obviously, at a young age, you, all, you go through things. You get to learn who you are. You start learning yourself. We lived together in the same house. You know, personalities clashed. Uh, you know, we didn't always get along. Uh, but a lot of it was just learning experiences and all of us maturing as men and women. Um, and yes, we had, our, we had our falling outs. You know, some of us gave each other the silent treatment. Uh, but we grew. Uh, dance dance was a lifestyle for us and dance was a part of our our lives as young men and women and going into adults um, we've always kept dance and dance has kind of been like a, sort of like our guidance counselor so to speak in our and everything and so I mean we're all good now you know we and we we just learned a lot like especially once we broke up on our own and had to um, you know handle life as well as dance in our careers on our own and find ourselves in our own personalities and identities as dancers. And I think that was one of the most important things because now when we see each other, we work together now, uh, the product from that is so much more incredible um, because we all understand and have a confident security in ourselves. And I think that's just the most important thing both in dance and in life. Um, and so it was rough. I mean, you get put down, especially up and coming, you get put down a lot and you get told, um, that's not right and you do it like this and well, we used to do it like this and the thing is you know I don't necessarily feel like anything is right or wrong um, as time goes on things change things evolve things get better they have to otherwise it becomes stagnant and I think that was one of the real reasons how, of how the hood lockers was formed and just to give you an example on why we do what we do because we could never just be set on doing what the everybody else is doing. We had to take it somewhere else because that's what our bodies, that's what our bodies, that's what our minds, that's what our hearts told us to, to, told us to do. I mean, dance was an organic experience from us, for us. Uh, we never learned anything. We never learned any hip hop dance in a classroom or in a studio anywhere. Everything was learned on our own, on our own search, on our own accord. Um, we took, we had advice from a lot of the mentors and a lot of the and start, um, creators of hip hop. Uh, we have spoken to them and had conversations, um, not to say not to take a class, because we've learned stuff from them in situations that we were just blessed to learn. 
not to say don't take a class, but don't let the class dictate you as a dancer. I always remember that a classroom can only give you tools. You have to become the individual of a dancer. And I think that's what a lot of people are missing, um, you know, these days. But other than that, like, experience, the experience was incredible. And it, it, all, it all shaped and made me who I am today.